Less than two weeks after Mark McGowan's resignation, Premier Roger Cook and his deputy Rita Safiotti have officially been sworn in. Mr Cook says he's confident the new cabinet will be on top of the game as he claims the team he's chosen is strong and united. Rita Safiotti arrived at the swearing-in ceremony with her three school-aged children, looking delighted to be sharing the moment with her family and friends. The Deputy Premier has been handed over the three T portfolios, Transport, Tourism and Treasury. Big responsibilities she claims she can handle. Paul Papalier is another winner of the Cabinet reshuffle. The Police and Defence Minister has been appointed the challenging portfolio as Corrective Services Minister as riots at the Banksia Hill Youth Detention Centre continues to unfold. We've seen staff who have been subjected to assaults. We've seen staff morale plummeting. We've seen understaffing leading to uh, time being spent in cells, which has then, according to the inspector, led to an explosion of bad behaviour, uh, riot. The Premier has requested that I focus uh, immediately on Banksia Hill as a priority, and I will be doing that. Bill Johnston, who was stripped of his corrective services title, has been given the hydrogen industry portfolio instead. Amber Jade Sanderson, who pulled out of the contest for the top job, claims there's no bad blood between her and Roger Cook. She's maintained her health and mental health portfolio. Days like today don't come round very often. From Sir John Forrest to the Honourable Mark McGowan, our state has had just 30 premiers. We'd like to think that the last one was pretty damn good. And we thank him for his extraordinary service to the community. Roger Cook says he looks forward to leading a strong and united team and to maintain WA status as what he claims is the most successful state in the country. Crystal Wu, Sky News, Perth.